With us, we have Amy Gallimore from Tri Leadership. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Isaac, nice to be here. Thank you. I understand you're going to be sharing a story with us today. I am, absolutely. It's one of my favorite stories because it's um, not only my, one of my most embarrassing moments, but I think it really speaks to the spirit um, of DECA. I, I'm Southern, in case you haven't noticed, and I came from a good Southern home where my mom believed that you know, a little bit of lipstick could certainly um, enhance your day. She solved lots of problems by saying you just need to put on a little bit of lipstick. I could be in the hospital, and I swear she'd walk in and be like, you need a little bit of lipstick. So I was going to the airport, and I was having a particularly challenging day getting out of the house. Couldn't seem to get everything packed appropriately. Couldn't seem to find everything. Finally get to the airport. Security is packed. Finally get through security, and I was just so happy to be on the other side and go to my gate. So I recognized the fact that I'm, that I needed a little bit of extra help. And so studies actually show that if you if you dress up and feel like you, you look better, then you're going to, to probably do a little bit better. So if you're having a test or a bad day, if you, if you try to intentionally look better, then you will feel better and therefore you will perform better. So before I went to the airport, I put on my cutest little hot pink skirt from Banana Republic. I mean, it was nice. So I put on my cutest little skirt, it was a little kicky and a little flippy, and I thought, this is gonna be a good day didn't really help but I, I felt better about that so I'm all the way through security my cute little hot pink skirt go all the way through and I happened to sit down and I sat down in a space where there was no one else around me I mean there's literally 10 chairs between me and everyone else so I start to unpack my bag and I start to plug in my computer and then all of a sudden this gentleman comes down and sits down whoosh, I mean, right beside me clearly he did not know airport etiquette which is you do not sit down right beside the person but he sat down and all of a sudden he looked at me and he said it is hot today and I was like Oh, Lord, a talker. So I put all my stuff back in my suitcase knowing that he was going to start talking to me. And then he started to ask me questions. And he said, do you live here in Nashville? And I said, yes, I do. And I said, are you here visiting on work? And he had this really kind of amused look on his face. Um, and he said, um, yeah, yeah, you could say that. And I was like, oh, awesome. So I started giving my hospitality spiel um, about Nashville, Tennessee, and how we have more guitars than people and our love affair with moon pies and all things <laughs> deep fried on a stick whatever it happened to be. And so then he asked me where I was headed off to. I told him I was actually going to Anaheim for your um, ICDC conference last year. I was on my way there and I said I was going for DECA. And he asked me what DECA was. Well, all I need is the door to be open for these kinds of conversations. I mean, and I began to talk like a parrot with my foot hung. I mean, I was just la, 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 talking about DECA. Because I really do feel that DECA is the premier student leadership organization that offers students the opportunity, not only for their leadership skills, but also to enhance their skills in the marketing area. So, I mean, I was telling him all this about how I was going to work with the state and provincial officers and the chapter management academy. I mean, he was looking at me like I had lost my mind. So about 20 minutes in, I realized that something um, different was happening. People began to take pictures of us, which was very strange. And so people were lined up around us with their cell phone, literally taking pictures. And of course, I'm thinking, <laughs> I know a cute skirt, right? <laughs> um, this was not the case so much. More people kept coming over. People are pointing. And I'm talking about DECA. I'm telling everybody about DECA who will stand there and listen and where I'm headed off to. So as I'm telling my DECA story, I then begin to notice there's a man walking around who literally has no neck. I mean, he's like muscled up like a bullfrog. And he's just kind of like hovering around there. Again, I didn't think anything about it. 45 minutes pass of me telling my DECA story about my special experience and my involvement in the organization. He shakes my hands and he says, it was really nice to meet you. And I said, it was great to meet you too. I handed my business card. He trots off. This young lady comes flying up to me and she says, that was awesome. And I'm like, I know. What happened? And she said, don't you know who you were talking to? And I said, I have no idea who I was talking to. She said, that was Randy Jackson from American Idol. Awesome. So even though it was my quite an embarrassing moment because I did not recognize who Andy ja Randy Jackson was. Um, it was a really important moment for me because of the opportunity, um, in, that, in those 45 minutes, the opportunity that I was provided. Uh, and what, what did you learn from me? What, it sounds like a, there was a lot there that Oh, there was happened. a lot going on, absolutely. I think the most important thing that I learned at that moment was you, you never know when you have the opportunity to tell your story. Um, and I think that the experiences that you gain um, in DECA, whether it's the high school or whether it's collegiate division, the experiences that you gain, you certainly want to tell people about them because the more you can articulate them means the more that you understand what has happened. Yeah. And DECA offers so many wonderful opportunities, whether again it's in leadership or to advance their careers um, in marketing through competition, through being a leader, or if people just want to be members. I think the great thing about DECA is that it offers every person in the organization a place and a part and a purpose. No matter where, where they want to be or, or should be or could be or need to be, Everybody is the hero of their own story, and they just you never know when you're going to get the opportunity to share that experience um, with somebody. And I think that's what really makes the difference for a lot of our members. And 
Oh, absolutely. It seems obviously made a difference with you. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I would have never, when he asked me where to go, if I had not had any pastor or previous experience with the DECA organization, I could have just said, well, I'm headed to Anaheim and, and been done with that conversation. Um, but I got to tell about all my cool involvement with, with training and, and with leadership and motivational speaking and, and working with the national staff and the national or international um, officers as well. So, you know, it's, it's those experiences that, that make the stories. That's what makes the memories. And I think when people look back upon their DECA experience, they're certainly going to have a, a great and fast fabulous story um, to tell. Yeah. I know you've done a lot with the organization, a lot with DECA and such, and slew of experiences, but if you had to pick one, what would be that, that really big pivotal experience aside from the Randy Jackson experience? But <laughs> Except for emba embarrassing myself. Yes, yes exactly. I think the, the in one your pink probably, skirt. Yeah, my, it was a really cute pink skirt. <laughs> um, I think the one experience that if I had to take away from it um, is that when you, you know, I had the opportunity to train um, and to train those state and provincial officers and to travel to all sorts of different states. I think that the one thing that I love the most is when literally we can sit down outside of, of the four walls of the classroom and we can sit outside or we can take a break and I really get the opportunity to have those intentional moments um, with students and ask really why they're involved in the organization and what their future plans are and what do they hope to gain out of it and why did they join um, DECA and you know the outstanding answer to that is always because somebody asked me to um, and I think it, again it's creating those intentional moments um, with each other that, that really make make for great stories and for great memories. Yeah, definitely, definitely agree. Thank you so much for Thanks, taking guys. the time and joining Thanks, us. Isaac. Thank you so very Thank you so much. much. Greatly appreciate it. And for DECA Direct, this is Isaac Robinson.